Sierra. Hi. How do you spell it, Sierra? S-I-E-R-R-A. And your last name? B-O-Y-N-E. Boyne. B-O-Y-N-E. Okay. It's Irish. Okay. I know it's Irish. <laughs> it's great. Just tell me a little bit about um, your experiences, you know, from the beginning to today. Yikes. Um, that's a lot of things. No, um, I was out here. I accidentally found the riot the first night. And I knew that I was like basically first aid trained, so when I saw like explosions and stuff, I grabbed my tiny little first aid kit and I like ran out into the street and was out there until like four in the morning. Just like helping people and doing what I could for like tear gas release and stuff like that. And so um, pretty much I've been out here every night, just about every night since. Um, and I eventually collected all of this, like I have my actual like fancy little medic bag. And I figured this is a very important cause and it's one worth fighting for. And I felt like my skills were best used as first aid relief and medical relief as much as I can, so. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for your help. I mean, sometimes we need help too. We've gotten some water bottles from you guys in the past to wash out our eyes. Uh, go ahead and tell me a little bit about the feds leaving. Are you happy? I mean, are they gone, you think? What's going on with that? Well, I mean, a phase withdrawal does not mean that the feds are gone, and so people are really excited, and that's really cool, but like, feds aren't gone. And more importantly, what I feel like, it's really great that the feds are leaving, but also, we were out here being brutalized and tear gassed and harassed and abused before the feds got here and we will still be out here doing all of those things after. So we've got a long fight ahead of us and it's beyond the feds leaving, it's beyond the trade troopers coming in, it's beyond a lot of that. What do you think of um, Trump calling Portland a beehive of terrorists? I think it's a really convenient excuse on how to abuse a bunch of children fighting for black lives and call us all terrorists. Because that means that any of us could be arrested at any point because we're all considered terrorists. What do you think about him saying he wants to deploy the National Guard? He's been saying a lot of things since Governor Brown announced that the phase out, but he recently said he want, he would deploy the National Guard if she didn't keep things in line or something to that effect. To my knowledge, the National Guard was already deployed and they were protecting the courthouse in Pioneer Square. So the National Guard was already here earlier and then they left and they were replaced with the marshals. And now if the National Guard is coming back, like, okay, we've dealt with them before, we'll deal with them now, that's fine. There's no, I don't know, it, it, it's confusing. You know how it is when you read the information that's coming out of, of the federal level. It's a little confusing. So, all right, anything else you want to add? I'm not sure anything else I should add. <laughs> you any questions, man? No, do, you, do you feel like the focus is getting back to Black Lives Matter versus Portland versus the feds? Um, well, that depends on if you mean here at the protests or in the media, because those are two different answers. Because okay. the media has always been more focused on like the, the, the state role here. I feel like the media have decided, like, now there's national news organizations down here. Now the feds have been out. And they were here at the very beginning, and then they left, and they were back to the feds. And I'm assuming once the feds leave, that they're also going to leave as well. But I feel like Black Lives has always, like, Ideally is the focus of what's going on down here, but it hasn't always necessarily been the focus of the energy or of the media. But um, the hope is that the focus gets back on Black Lives because there's been a lot of ACAB instead of BLM. And I feel like BLM for a period did get lost in the in this, the, the, the hatred for cops and we forget why we are here and why we hate cops. Like the actual root of the problem is that people look, look like me are being killed in the streets for my skin color. And so I hope that the focus can get back on black lives and less on feds versus Antifa and the police versus the scary terrorist protesters. Like I hope that the focus remains, not remains because it got lost, it really truly did. But I hope that the focus can be redirected back to what we are here fighting for, which is basic human rights and basic civil rights. This is a civil rights movement.